Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mass today on Thursday, the 16th of July. It's week 15 of the Church's year. We're remembering during the Mass today Saviour and Mary Coney, Teresa Crichton, Brian Hubbs, Lorraine Steedman, the mother of Mary Palomares, Carlos Duran, Rosa Beard, Luke Mehmet, Stephen Nightingale, Lena Vinayagam, Maggie Koleska's mum, Paul Gallagher, Father Benito, Christine Galindo, and we remember to the prayer, the care workers, and it's also Lizzie McBride's birthday today. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you, and with your spirit. Today's first reading from Isaiah is part of a hymn of praise to God. And in the Gospel, the Lord who has shared our temptations, our sufferings and our joys, gives us encouragement. Let's pause now as we pray, prepare for our Mass. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honour. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The path of the upright man is straight, you smooth the way of the upright. Following the path of your judgments, we hoped in you, O Lord. Your name, your memory, are all my soul desires. At night my soul longs for you, and my spirit in me seeks for you. When your, ju when your judgments appear on earth, the inhabitants of the world learn the meaning of integrity. O oh Lord, you are giving us peace, since you treat us as our deeds deserve. Distressed, we search for you, O oh Lord. The misery of oppression was your punishment for us. As a woman with child near her time writhes and cries out in her pangs, so are we, Lord, in your presence. We have conceived, we writhe as if we were giving birth. We have not given the spirit of salvation to the earth. No more inhabitants of the world are born. Your dead will come to life. Their corpses will rise. Awake, exult, all you who lie in the dust. For your dew is a radiant dew, and the land of ghosts will give birth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the psalm. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth. You, O Lord, will endure forever, and your name from age to age. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for this is the time to have mercy, for your servants' love for very stones are moved with pity even for her dust. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth. The nations shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the earth's kings your glory, when the Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise their prayers. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord leaned down from his sanctuary on high. He looked down from heaven to the earth, 
He died that he might hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First reading from Isaiah starts with reflections about uprightness and judgment, and it continues with a confession of guilt, but it ends with a strong affirmation of life after death, contrasting with the fate of Israel's oppressors who will never rise again. I turn into the Gospel. In Judaism, the yoke often refers to the law a burden which must be borne, like the yoke which the oxen bear, pressing on their neck and shoulders. It may be tempting to see a contrast between the light yoke which Jesus offers and the heavy yoke of the exact and burdensome observance of the law. But for any devout Jew, the law is a joy, revealing as it does God's nature and will for human beings. But in the Old Testament, wisdom is sometimes portrayed as a yoke, which offers to those who accept it a banquet of rich food and fine wines. Perhaps this is a better way of applying this image to the invitation of Jesus to follow him. Christ is the high priest of his people. It is in him that we come together to make our prayer to the Father of us all. And our response, Father, put new hearts within us. Father, put new hearts within us. We thank you for calling us into the church. Bless us with constant faith and make it a source of life for others. Father, put new hearts within us. Lord, bless Francis, our Pope. We pray that his faith may not fail that he may strengthen his brothers and sisters. Father, put new hearts within us. Turn sinners back to you. Grant us a humble and contrite heart. Father, put new hearts within us. Your son knew what it was to be excluded from his homeland. Be mindful of those who must live far from their family and country. Father, put new hearts within us. Give eternal rest to the dead. Bring the whole church together in heaven. Father, put new hearts within us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We offer you, Lord, our prayers at the beginning of this day. In your mercy, help us when we go astray through human frailty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
for the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, <clears throat> fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let's pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbour to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church, 
in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop, with all bishops, priests and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labour and are burdened. Make us serve them truly, after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with Saint Edward, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, obedient to our Lord's command, let's pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, <coughs> and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> the peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of Lamb of God, <clears throat> you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you once again for being at Mass with me today. Have a safe day today. And let me know if you have any prayer intentions you want me to mention. Perhaps I'll see you tomorrow. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a great day. God bless.